This video is about how to get your text messages data from your iPhone into Decipher Text Message so that you see your iPhone listed in the left-hand column of the app to click on and select messages from. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the back up button because the only way to get text messages data from your phone to your computer without a jailbreak is by making a backup. Once I open this, I'm going to plug in my phone and especially on Windows, I recommend tapping your screen so that the screen is awake. Uh, I even sometimes recommend doing the unlock and getting your phone actually showing on the home screen just to make sure Windows is recognizing it. On Windows 10 and 11 and on all Mac OS, you'll also see a line here about the status of the phone, whether or not it's connected and the speed over USB that it's connected. Since I have a 15 Pro plugged in, I have USB 3 speeds, which is good for this demo. I'm now going to click the Make Backup button. And on my phone, I'm going to be prompted to enter my passcode, which allows the phone to send files to the computer. So I'm going to enter in my passcode. And now up in this upper right corner, which I can also see by tapping and pulling down in either upper corner of my phone, you can see that the backup is running because you'll see these two little arrow, circle arrows uh, animating while the backup is running. All right, so now I'm going to close this window because my phone is good and transferring. When the backup first starts, you'll see a message about the phone asking for information about the previous backup from Decipher Text Message and the phone figuring out what files it needs to send. And then after that, you'll see streaming messages as the phone is sending files to Decipher Text Message for the backup. While the backup is running, you will see streaming messages about the current amount of available space on your drive and the amount of files sent from the phone to the computer for the backup. The first backup of a phone made in Decipher text message or iTunes or Finder or any third party app will take a little longer because the phone wants to send all of the files on the phone for that whole backup. In the future, when you take another backup of your phone, it will go much faster because the only files that will need to be sent are the ones that have changed or are new since the last backup. As you can see right now, the phone is sending a lot of files relevant to the text messages data. So you're seeing a lot of streaming messages about files that are being kept in the backup. All right, I'm gonna let this backup finish and I will be back as soon as it's done. All right, my text messages only backup has finished in Decipher text message. The next thing I'm going to do is shut the app down so that the next time I restart it, the new backup I made is available for Decipher Text Message to read. One final thing I want to address in this video about making a backup in Decipher Text Message is it's not uncommon to be running low on hard drive space and not have enough space to even back up the Messages app data. And if this is the case for you, you can have Decipher Text Message store its data including the backups that it makes to an external drive. In order to do this, you would click Preferences, and then you would click Move Decipher Media Folder, and then you'll be asked where you want to move the Decipher Media Folder to, and you would select your external drive. So I hope that is a helpful tip if you're running low on hard drive space. And I hope that this video about how to make a backup of only your text messages data in Decipher Text Message was helpful. We're always working to try to improve the backup process and make it run faster and take less space. So we look forward to having more videos about this as we improve the backup in the future.